Hello folks and welcome back to Rollercoaster Tycoon. We are still in Corkscrew Follies and in the Challenging Park area. Today we have Magic Quarters. It's an area of large land that has been cleared and partially themed, ready for you to develop into a landscape theme park. We've achieved a park value of $400,000 in four years. That's a big step up from our last one of Hydro Hills, um, but we'll definitely be able to do that. So I'm gonna pause it real fast here and we'll take a look and see what we have. <clears throat> okay, this is a this is a big park. Um, and we gotta decide what we're gonna do with it. I think the first goal here is to remove this train. I, I, I'm just not a fan of them. Uh, and I think that they are gonna cause more problems than they're worth. We also have the problem that we need to not be able to charge for rides. So that's that definitely cements that concept here that uh, we are going to have to do some construction and get rid of this entire train track setup. Now, again, I go through and do this because traditionally, I don't know if it does it in open RCT or not, uh, but if you were to hit the delete button, you get significantly less money than if you were to just go through and actually delete all of the things. So we're gonna go through and delete all of the things and see if that brings us some more cash or not. And then once we have that done, then we can start actually building onto this park and doing all of the things. Um, I know we're probably killing the value of this park by removing this stuff, but that's okay. So we'll get rid of all of that. Then we'll go on this side and get rid of all of that. That may be a, a future station, I don't know. So now we can just go through and remove all of this stuff that we most definitely do not need. And we're also going to get rid of some of this other stuff. Like, I don't want guests going this way. Uh, basically, we're going to build over here first, I think is our first goal. So we're going to knock out a lot of different spots where they could go. Just to make sure that we have those areas locked off, which looks like we do now. Okay. Uh, so we can go through and get this cleared out. I like how they said it was partially themed. Like, no, it's not. It is not partially themed at all. This is just... it's literally just uh, a couple of different colored pathways and that's it that's not theming i'm a little offended by that because again uh this game i tend to build amusement parks not theme parks but there we go we saved ourselves seven thousand dollars in potential fees and all that let's pause the game back here and see what we have now so we could run a monorail and that's one much higher capacity uh, but also can run in shuttle mode which the train cannot uh, we have not a bad selection of these. We have a fantastic selection of coasters, which we will absolutely take advantage of. Terrible selection there, and good enough on that end. And we still have a lot of stuff there. Okay, so we're going to go in here. We'll get rid of general rides and all of that. We're just looking at thrill rides for right now, because we have enough coasters to keep us busy and to keep us uh, working here. All right, uh, so... We're gonna kind of build a pathway through here. Uh, it's gonna also pop out over here uh, and we'll build some basic stuff in the way of all of that. But let's go in here and flatten out that guy. So that does not need to exist that way. And we're gonna figure out this pathway here. It's gonna come like that. And then I need to flatten out some of this area and figure out where exactly we're gonna come out at, so. Let's go in. And flatten this all out. This is an unnecessary use of money, uh, but I think it will add to what I plan on doing with this park overall. Again, uh, in Rollercoast Tycoon, pathing is really like the most important thing. If you don't have good path systems, uh, your peeps are not going to be happy and you're not going to win scenarios. So I spend a lot of time at the beginning trying to get the basics of this design right because if it's right, it's going to work really well for us. And if it's wrong, we're going to have some big problems. So I think it's worth spending the time to get some of this stuff built the way that I think it should be. Alright, so let's go in there. Bop and bop. Wow, I planned that out like beautifully. Look at that. Okay. Now we can go in and add on some basic stuff.
And again, this is just my normal thing, but I, it really does pay off. I know it's uh, probably not the most entertaining thing to watch to put watch somebody put benches down forever, but it pays off so much in this game to do just the little things like this. Just to try to maximize whatever it is that we're doing here. Um, because guest ratings really show and prove that they like having all of this stuff in place. So you got to do it to make sure your peeps stay as happy as possible. All right, there we go. We got all of that. Just need to put some trash cans in. There we go. And we're actually going to, oh, there's one more that I missed, isn't there? No, I got it, okay. We're also going to remove that right there. We have a 3D cinema, fantastic. Nice easy ride to have to start off with. Get that right in the front of the park. Probably gonna have to change the color a bit. Uh, sure, and have that. Space Raiders, we can't charge anything for it, but we can open that up at least. that in place again I'm going to focus a little bit more on making money on some of the smaller things in this park like usually I drop down the map so that we don't make any cash but I think we need to here just to get started with All right and then we can put hot dogs in there like so should we make two dollars at least and then drinks and again, making two dollars. There we go, open that up. We should hopefully have some people coming somewhat soon. And let's see. Do I want to build a log flume that goes through this area? I think that's I think that's the play. So let's do it up there. And then the pathways can come down. I think it's gonna be the easiest way to do this. So we can have a drop more, doesn't really matter. Oops. Is that coming up? I need to still move over a little bit. And then we can have it come up, I hope. go. Hey look, we have our first people coming into the park. Beautiful. That. There we go. Entrances and exits can go that way. Get that in there. 320. Get as many boats as we can. We'll test that out. I'm going to go back into normal speed. I didn't realize I wasn't quick there. Mm 
All right, that's probably not long enough of a line, so we're going to extend it just a touch here. All right, and let's change some of the settings here. Leave, wait for a full load. Don't care about that. We're gonna knock it down to like five seconds, I think, for right now. And then we need to hire some staff. <clears throat> All right, so let's take a look. Where's boat one at? Oh, it's coming back to the station right now. Beautiful. We have a total of 18 or 16 of those. Let's take a look and get ready for whatever it is here for our next step. How long is that ride cycle? It is a minute and 55 seconds. Divide that by 16 is seven. So that sounds good. And then out seven, open it up. And there we go. And I guess we could put some theming in here if we wanted to try to make it a little bit more fun. That's weird. It looks like it's not on it in that edge, but I guess it is. Look at my beautiful theming. This is gorgeous. Must be on level land, really? Okay. All right, did that increase the excitement? A little bit, nothing too big a deal. All right, this park is desperately in need of a coaster now. So if we take a look at our coasters, um, let's see. I want something inexpensive that we can make some money on. So a corkscrew coaster is probably gonna be, although I'm gonna throw a shuttle loop right in here pretty easily and keep that area relatively packed. So let's see here. It's going to go up. One, two, three. Nope, we need to go one more. Boop. One, two, three, and four. Good. Go to the left, down there, on the right photo section. One, two, three, and four. That'll welcome all of our guests as soon as they get into the park, which is kind of fun. You can get your two loops in. And we'll test to make sure that's functioning, which should be just fine. There we go. And then we'll do that and we will close that off. Colors, we're gonna make this kind of a yellowy sandy color and call it Sandstorm. Don't know what color to go with these, so. All right, we have that in place. That's all in place. That looks good. We're gonna open that bad boy up. And we have people Exploring the park. I mean, they're out in parts that they definitely do not need to be in, but that's okay. Nope. There we go. 
Get another bathroom there. We're gonna need the bathroom back here as well. And we'll probably put one all the way down here at the end as well. All right, we'll put a burger stall in there. Making sure we make our two dollars. Now we can throw drinks in there as well. And then maybe over here we'll put a cookie stand. There we go, okay. Then we're gonna focus in the back here a little bit. Um, we'll put a haunted house back here. And then we're gonna put a launch free fall in as well. Negative five. So that looks good. It goes slightly faster. Ooh, no, we can't. <laughs> We have our readings for that, so we're good there. And we'll either get another coaster somewhere over here or to ride up along the dunes here. A bobsled coaster would be really fun for that, but we don't have that. Um, we don't really have any good quote-unquote terrain coasters. Kind of intrigued by the stand-up looping coaster. We don't have any of those. We really, I think I've built one in the entire series so far. Oh, we do have mine train coaster, which would go good in here, but it'd also go better over in this hot mess of an area. Uh, so we'll see what's up with that. We don't have a ton of money right now, so I'm not gonna spend crazy money on some of this stuff. Uh, but if we go into finances, take a look at our park value, we're getting there. Nothing crazy yet, but we'll get there. We could do a little go-kart area over there or in here. Go-karts are one of those ones that's easy to build because they require almost no space. Let's see, if I just bring that up, then I can put it over top of that area. There we go. That's a pretty simple little racetrack. That should work just fine. All right, so that means that needs to come down two. One, two. This one we have some space to work with. go there we go go carts get a total of five laps 10 total cars open that bad boy up here we go we haven't done any advertising anything at all we're up to 200 guests um and we can now i think start charging a little bit more at our entry gate here why are you leaving and it looks like they're coming to us with some cash too to start off with so that's that's an encouraging sign Let's go up to 24. And it looks like people are having no problem coming into the park, spending that kind of money, which is fantastic news for us. All right, as far as this goes, we can also, I guess we could turn on general rides as well. Let's go back into normal mode. We are making money, which is always a plus. <clears throat> Even though it keeps showing negatives, we are actually making money. We have a twist coming, which is a dumb ride, but that's fine. 
This area back here is in desperate need of a coaster. And let's pause real fast and just see how much money we can actually borrow. Okay, so we can get up to 25. We should be able to do a pretty killer mine train coaster for that. So even though I wanted to kind of save it for over there, I think it's going to work in here just fine. Let's go build that on. Get one train, seven cars. Perfect. Turn that and have it go up the left hill instantly. There we go. Turn and then we can do some things. And again, I'm just doing dipsy doos. I don't really have a plan for this coaster. I just want to kind of ride around on the dunes. There we go. the problem. Oh, we don't have money. <laughs> okay. Trying to think what I want to do here. So I have a pop up, pop down. I don't want to spend the money on raising our low in the ground there. Let's see, can I have that? And then do that? Heck yeah! Then we need to hit the brakes like hardcore. Alright. So should we be able to get two trains? Let's paint said trains. And we'll make sure the left hill goes fast. And let's just real quick check in and see how much money some of these guys made. So that's made 500 bucks for us. This one has made no money for us. That's a bummer. Really? Okay. The thing I'm most concerned about is how fast it's going to come in here. If we need to, we can rearrange this spot right here so it's uh, a breaking area. There we go. Beautiful. Pop around. Boop. Oh no, we need to rearrange that. It can't come in that fast. That's, that's too much. We'll do that. 
and then brakes. Alright, let's test that now. That should be at least more sustainable. little cover. Let's make it look nicer. I don't think it really looks nicer, but whatever. We're gonna ignore that fact. There we go. Now that's coming in at a much more reasonable speed where we can actually slow it down and get it taken care of. All right, that's high excitement. Good for us. It's a minute and 13 seconds. So 60 plus 13 divided by 2 is going to be 36 seconds. So this guy's going to be a max of 30 and a minimum of, let's say, 27. Wait for a full load. Open this bad boy up. And now we have a brand new ride. Yay us. And we have a little bit of money. So we're just going to give advertising campaign for a particular ride and we'll select the mine train coaster and we have enough money to run hopefully four weeks here. There we go. And again we seem to be bringing in people. That doesn't seem to be a big problem for us. Got all of that. General rides. I'd like to put a spiral slide in there if possible. But we're gonna do some of this work. Actually, let's put the entrance over there. And then the exit will be where we already had it. Observation tower. Tests. Wait for a full load, maximum 60. Open up. And there we go. Okay. So that all looks good. We are making money, which is fantastic news, because we are spent some money and we need to make it back. We have till year four, correct? Okay, so we're already almost halfway to our goal. And we're still September year one. And what we can do is do dumb stuff like this. It increases the value of the park. Whoa, well, we need some money to do that with, but then we'll be able to increase the value of the park. We got a circus? Heck yeah. Again, I'm looking for rides that can fit into this park without... They kind of naturally fit without having a whole bunch of stuff. But we're pretty much done in this area for now. Uh, we're going to start building out here and then out here. This is too much of a mess. I don't want to deal with that right now. And all of this can be branched off of what we have. And then we can open up this other area. So I'm going to get rid of that pathway there. And then we'll figure out exactly where we want to come. Probably this coming out and then going over. We'll see. Don't really know. But we'll figure it out here in time. And finance wise, yeah. If we're not building, we're losing money. Oh, we got these stupid space flyer things. I hate that ride. 
All right, so channel rides are going away because we already have enough of that stuff. We need more thrill rides. So that's going to be our next focus. So I'm going to bring this over here and then pop it in somewhere over on this side. Get rid of the things I misclicked on. We'll get rid of that path because we don't need it quite yet. And we go back to normal speed. And we'll see exactly what's going where. Alright, so we can expand that guy out. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So again, there's not really any rhyme or reason of where we're building, um, just that it's going to be less expensive to build where it's relatively flat. So we'll put some supporting rides out in this area, and then we can add on a coaster, possibly, once we can afford it. Because we're barely affording benches right now, so <laughs> we need to make sure we can do those things, and then we'll figure out what our next steps are. Alright, so we have all of that. Let's speed the game up here. I would like to put in another food area here. Need more drinks over there. Put an info kiosk, even though there's one not far away, and we'll also throw in a bathroom. Then we're going to slow that back down. We're going to throw in a fruit icy thing right there. Make sure it costs that. There we go. And then we can go in and add on some of the rides that we don't have. Uh, we don't have this bad boy, so we can throw that in there once we have enough money. Increase the number of spins and then open that. Cool. Alright, we have that. We're going to go in and either do a circus or these things, which I really, really don't like those things. But we'll add one on anyway. There we go, there we go. Open them up. There we go, okay. So that area at least has a little hub of uh, a few rides, some food and stuff. It should be good. Oh. Oh, it's broken down, okay. Let's see. The problem with big parks as well is that uh, your staff gets really spread out, so you need to make sure you account for that. Uh, finances, our campaign is done there. How we doing? Let's go in and hopefully just gather up some cash right now. Um, let's see. Let's do an advertising campaign for the park. Roto drop, not my favorite. All right, but we are getting people coming into the park, which is what we want, and very few people are leaving. This guy left, he's not too happy. He spent $30 and did nothing. How long were you in the park, man? Seven minutes? That seems like a waste of money. But I can't help you with that. And what we might do is just shut off one of these pathways entirely. Which 
we, that one's gonna get deleted. It's gonna go over here, close that, close that, and nope, not that. I'm gonna close that one as well. So people really only have one entry way to go through. I think that makes more sense. All right, we are making money. Got a top spin again. I don't know if that's gonna be a good one for this park or not. Our advertising campaign is done. Half price entry into the park. I don't think we need more people right now. That's our only problem. Well, we do need more people. We just need them to come on to the park and not spend crazy money. So let's see here. How about the log flume? We have a thousand bucks, so we can do that for five weeks. Great. And ride wise, we're getting another one. Let's take a look and see money-wise how we're doing. This guy's made us 700 bucks. This has made us 1,000. And this has made us 500. Okay. So they're not like crushing it, but they are making us income, which is what we need. Uh, we're gonna go in here now, and I think we're gonna do a corkscrew coaster. Uh, mainly just because we need to have something that's gonna make us some money. and do it with very little expenditure. One, two, three, four, five, there we go. Making sure we get the max out of that. And we'll take out $2,000 worth of loan. I think that will cover it. Oh yeah, we can do that. Come down the other side of the pathway. Hold on. I like that idea though. Okay. So we'll build it here. Two, three, four, five. Got that. Okay. And then we should be able to half loop it corkscrew it. Let's do an on-ride photo there. Then we'll corkscrew it again. Have it come back down. Have it go into that into a loop to the left. Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Okay. So we have that. We're gonna call it Sidewinder. Gonna be different. All right, and then we'll go in here. And we'll change that. And we'll see what happens with that. Should work just fine. Should make us some nice income. There we go. Loops over that, goes up. And this ride is rocking and rolling, man. All right, so we'll get our results here in just a second. There we go, open that up. And then once this runs out, we'll put an advertising campaign for that in place. Money-wise, we're doing okay. Or at least uh, for park value, we're doing okay. Still need more work to do here. Our rides are really breaking a lot. I don't like that. All right, so advertising campaign for a particular ride. 
We have that. We have 1500 bucks. So we're going to do that for eight weeks. Once we get up to 16, there we go. And that should hopefully keep people rolling into the park. While we're doing that though, let's change our pricing here. This doesn't seem like enough anymore. So we're going to go with 40. And people are still coming in without any real concerns about that. So I'm happy with that. Let's slow down the game a little bit and let's just see their thoughts. Need to go to the bathroom. It's primarily towards the front of the park. Do we have a bathroom up here? We do. We have one there. Probably going to put another one somewhere over there. Got some mini helicopters. Which is not my favorite ride in the world, but for this park, that might not be a bad option for things. Still have the circus that we could put in over here to try to encourage people to go on some of these rides. Or we also have some uh, thrill rides that we have not built. Uh, so have it, have it, do not have it, do not have it, do not have it, do not have it. So let's go in and put a pirate ship in there. And we'll increase that. Wait for a full load. It doesn't matter on that end of things. There we go. Open that up. This is still the dumbest ride. I don't understand it, but people love it. It's based off an old Disney World ride that wasn't around for very long because it was uh, such a maintenance nightmare. At least if I'm remembering properly. All right, so this pathway is going to be a problem because people are puking all over it. <laughs> all right, finance-wise, we're just about at 200,000. And we are continuing to draw more people into the park. Just need to make sure these rides that we're spending more money on are either not taking away money or are functioning for us with our income. Which it looks like they are for the most part. Ghost train car what are you what are, what are you talking about? Ghost train cars for a ghost train. We don't even have ghost train. Oh we do have ghost train, but I don't want improvements. So let me just slow this down. I'm confused. Oh, well that was dumb improvement. Okay. Let's see, we gotta still be always adding on to our parks here. So this pathway is gonna come over here. We're gonna have this one come up like so. Oops, no, I'm off by one. There we are with all of that. Let's go see what simple rides we can add on. Ferris wheel, we don't have a Ferris wheel anywhere in this park. So we'll slap that bad boy right in there. Gonna paint that. A yellow color that's going to be that burnt red and then this can be white and I just like how that looks and then we're going to also stick stick the roto drop back here so it's going to be a very short ride because people throw up on this thing constantly And we're just going to test that out and see what happens with it, and hopefully we'll have something productive. Actually, let's go this way. Then I can stick something. I wish I had a balloon shop or something. Let's just throw a bathroom over it. No, it doesn't even make sense. Research-wise, 
we still have plenty of room on stuff, which is awesome. How we doing here? We're over to we're over halfway there. We're making 800, 2,000 bucks a week. Perfect. We're paying back our loans. All right. So we're gonna advertise now for. Let's just do it for the roto drop. As that's our newest ride. We'll have 800 bucks to spend on that. And we have bumper cars. Heck yeah. The problem we're going to run into here is that uh, we have all these rides and uh, we're going to need some uh, stuff to support them here. Hold on, let me slow this down. What I mean by that is that we have a lot of rides and this is a huge park. So we're keeping them relatively dense and that's going to cause us to have some problems down the road, I think, because we're not going to have enough space to dedicate to all the other things that we need to have here. Like we are filling up. We don't even have half the park taken care of at all yet. We still have tons of space and uh, we're using up a lot of our ride options already. We have quite a few of these built pretty solidly already. We already have a circus? No. So we're going to put a circus in here too. So we'll do that and that. go and then we can open that one up and even though it's not the most perfect ride in the world it works for this because it's raining and the ether kiosk right there would be delightful but unnecessary you can see that the bumper cars worked out really nice making money that's going up and more importantly we're not having to draw out of stuff to keep our self afloat here we are making cash it's just that when you don't have the ability to charge per ride you have to always be advertising because that's your main source of income is people coming in the front gates here you can see that we've made almost forty thousand dollars what's how about you dude i just don't understand why they come to the park for seven minutes what are you doing what is the point? There's stuff right out of the gate. There's a coaster right out of the gate. There's log flume. There's thrill ride. I mean, there's tons of stuff to do. And yeah, we do have bigger rides towards the back of the park, but that's the idea is to draw you in to get you to come to the park. All right, so let's go ahead and build car ride because why not? Nope, I'm not building space rings. You want to talk about a ride that makes people puke. There we go. We don't need anything complicated for that. Just this nice, simple little ride. Again, just trying to add value to the park right now. Vintage sports cars, we can get 10. Racing cars, we can get 11. Pickup trucks and just hire cats. What are the racing cars? They add 3% to the excitement. That's not worth it. I like the vintage cars. And we definitely need to paint this so it doesn't look terrible.
All right, we'll just leave that go, do its thing. Still have a week remaining on, I did it for the pirate ship, oops. <laughs> All right, we'll speed this back up. Our advertising campaign did that, so we're gonna do for a particular ride, and that is gonna be for Roto Drop this time. And we'll do it for that long. There we go, get them cycling through there a little faster, and then we are enjoying some more money in our pockets. We have almost 1,500 guests in our park at this point, which is kind of incredible. Um, trying to figure out where we want to build the next thing. I think we're going to build some type of coaster. Just got to decide what. And I think we're going to throw roller coasters back into the mix here. We did get a a decent ride. Um, what I might do is build a wooden coaster and just do wood chip. I love wood chip. This is one of the greatest rides in this game. Can I do it without the? Yeah, I just want. I just want the coaster. No, not that one. Wood chip. There we go. Without the theming. Wood chip. There we go. That's all I want it. So I'm gonna put that back here like that. Be seven grand. So we can afford that, no problem. And that guy is going to be a block break. And then this area right there is going to be on ride photo section. All right, we have that. We'll test that out. Make some stupid line for it. Now oh, you know what we're gonna do? And then we're gonna put a uh I'm gonna put the motion simulator right in there. There we go. Something like that. Open that bad boy up. All right. as well. Alright, we got that. Let's open that bad boy up. And in general ride world, we're doing alright. We still have lots of stuff that we can work on here a little bit more, I guess, but we're not going to go too crazy with anything. We're just going to do some of the basics. All right. So over here, we're going to throw another info kiosk. Nope. My mouse really wants to take me one spot over from where I originally wanted to be for pretty much everything right now. All right, we have that. We'll add on a hot dog. Nope, hot dog stands right over there already. Let's go ahead and a burger stand. And then we'll add on a drink stall. All right, we have some of that stuff solved. Finance-wise, we're doing fine. We have a week remaining on the roto drop, and then we can begin advertising for this guy. And we have a spiral slide. That would have fit right in there too. But I'm trying to uh, kind of a 
go with the general thinking in Volker's Tycoon, where you build a ride that has higher intensity, and then you build a slightly less intense ride, and then a much less intense ride, and people who like this will eventually go on to this, and people who like this will eventually go on to this. Kind of keeps it cycling through. At least that's the thinking. All right, we have our advertising campaign that just finished. So we're going to do for a particular ride, and that's going to be for a wood ship. And we'll bring that up to four weeks, because that's what we can afford right now. And our park value is continuing to increase. And we said we can go up to 25, right? Yeah, okay. And wow, wood chips line really filled up fast there. Holy goodness. So we may make a train ride that just is goes around the park just purely for capacity or a monorail ride that does the same because we need capacity right now if we built a monorail station here and had it go out and around i think we could do that pretty easily but let's work on paying back some of our money here first right, what do we keep getting twister roller coaster fantastic that's a Big capacity ride. What do we have people complaining about? All right, so what are our queue times? What are people complaining about? 3D cinema. Oh boy. Okay. So let's go back into normal time. We will unpause that. And there, that should <coughs> lighten up that load quite a bit. So we don't have crazy long lines and we will throw some TVs in there just to make sure they're all good how long is wood chips line because that looks like it could be solid but it's not too bad finance wise we're going to wait for a little longer then we're going to buy more wood chip advertising hopefully do it for a longer stretch of time here so we have 1400 bucks we can do it for let's wait to see if we can get up to 1600 there we go let's get eight weeks of that it's bringing in people it's not bringing in a ton but it's bringing in enough for right now Finance wise, the park is worth 260. So now we're going to come in and start doing some dumb stuff. Add in some basic decorations. Try to make the park slightly more attractive and spend a little bit more money on some of these little things. It will also wind up making some of these rides more exciting, which is a fun little side benefit, but not our primary goal here. Our primary goal is really just to try to cheat the system and spend some money to get higher ratings. So we're going to continue to try to cheat the system just a little more here. Nothing, nothing too crazy. That's fine. We're not going to do any more than that for right now. We are in year three, so we need to actually get a move on. Because our goal is to get it by October of year four. So if we look at our finances. Oh, we have a hyper coaster too. Let's see, if we build that and throw it back here, what does that do? So I'll put my block brakes there, I want to turn. Block brakes and then regular braking. Alright, 
that's enough of that. Can I get them longer than six or no? Nope. Okay. So that means that can be shorter. So we're going to take some money out and make a simple version of this. Do that, have that, and then hopefully, there we go. really sure how I want to do some of this but we'll figure that out actually we'll keep it at that 10 and we just need one more little loan Alright, that's fine. We can have it come out there. I don't really care about where that happens to come out. But now we can go in and put on the brakes. that step that down there all right that should work speed is maxed out and then we'll make sure this oh no it can't have three trains well i guess it could have three trains it's just not going to operate very nicely but we'll keep it at three why not Again, we're looking for capacity hog, so three trains is definitely going to help us out on that front. <laughs> so we're basically just making an airtime machine right now. And that will clear, then we go up the lift hill, and the brakes, and then that one's going to go. Okay, it's not too bad. What are we going to, we're just going to call it hyper, uh, it's not even a hyper coaster, what are we going to call it? We'll call it Great White because it's white, and we'll just change the color of that to be a little bit shark-like, and then we'll change these guys to be water-colored and white and white. There we go. open that up let's see what we have it's a minute and nine seconds wow we should be able to cycle people through this like crazy so if we take a look 69 divided by three is going to be 23 seconds is the absolute max so we'll do that at 20 and our minimum hold time will be 15 that should work and then we go into finances and we can advertise for that particular ride in a couple weeks wow we actually built that faster than i thought we would we got an inverted roller coaster now? Heck yeah. So we're starting to get some capacity rides that are going to really help us out, I think. Alright, 
We got a couple weeks left on that. Oh man, we are loading this ride up. Look at this thing. 90 people on it. Heck yeah. And how many people are in line? 140? That's perfect. We have the capacity to keep that line moving all of the time. And I don't think we've seen any line complaints since we uh, shortened that one. So let's go over into our queue time and sort it. Go-karts is the longest. Okay, so let's lower that down to four laps. And hopefully that will help. Finances, we finally have that so we can advertise for a particular ride, which is going to be Great White. And then we have enough money to max it all the way out and also pay off some of the loan we used to make it. I think we're going to have to hire some more safety or handymen because this area back here is getting brutalized. Got a vertical drop coaster. Man, oh man, we're getting lots of coasters. Uh, group waits waiting time is six minutes. That's fine. And we are generating revenue. So let's speed the game back up here. We're up to 100. So that uh, coaster definitely helped us out in our quest to try to make some more cash. And we have a nice long time to try to make some of that money back so we can build on more coasters. I was going to eventually connect here over there, but that's not gonna happen. So we're gonna have another coaster somewhere here and have it do something back here, I think. We're up to almost 2,000 people, which is awesome. Our rating has been solid all the way through and our finances are slowly coming on board here. We are in August of year three, so we're gonna have to start making some strategic decisions about where we're at with all this, but that's okay, we will get there. Let's take a look here at the rest. What do we have coming our way? Compact inverter coaster, don't need that. Um, let's go in and turn off roller coaster and turn on water rides. Thrill ride wise, I don't see anything that I want to add on. I don't particularly want to add on this. I, well, I guess we could add on that, but that's not super necessary. Um, general ride wise, we have it, have it, have it. Do not have it. That would fit in there pretty nice, actually. Have it, don't have it, don't want it. Have it, have it, don't have it. We actually don't have that, do we? Okay. We can make a nice little spiral slide there. That'll be fine. that one up. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. All right, and then we have a little bit more that we can spend money on if we wanted to, which is the maze. Do I want to spend money on the maze? Not particularly. We also have this guy that we could spend money on, but I don't want to do that quite yet. Maybe I do. Yeah, what the heck, why not? We have so many people in this park that we need capacity. That is the name of the game right now. Capacity, capacity, capacity. All right, so we're gonna continue that across there. We'll open that up. Throw on those. And there are people on the ride. I just want to go on something more thrilling, which is fine. This ride now has a six, still six minutes. And go karts, what is the line for that now at? 11 minutes. Okay, let's see if we can distract them a little bit. And we're going to hire an entertainer who's going to go and distract that line. 
And the ride itself has gotten less fun. Let's knock down a three. Should be fine still. And hopefully we're good there. Finance wise, we're doing fine. We're under 300,000 now, but that's okay because uh, we're gonna be building some more stuff here very soon. I'm really not sure if I want to go with an inverted steel or a twister as our next uh, ride of choice here. But I want to get back to that 10,000 and then save up enough to be able to add another advertising campaign for our rides. But yeah, I think I'm going to go with twister here. Let's just go back to normal speed. So we don't need a big spot there. We'll turn that. And can we do a booster? Yeah, we can. So let's see if I can just... I'm going to borrow up to that amount. I'm just going to turn that on just because I don't want to rebuild stuff. I know it's not part of the original game, but if I do that, does it make it through? Oh, it, it does. It absolutely does. Okay, cool. So let's go over there and fix our mistake. do a barrel roll and then small half loop down and then if we can oh yeah spend so much money on this ride and I don't want to but I need to all right so we have that Some corkscrews to the right. And then we can go into some brakes. Nope, not booster. Brakes. Almost, ooh, River Rapids, that's a good one too. All right, I'm gonna speed up our expenditures here just so that we can get some more stuff. And then block breaks. And this guy. should be able to do two trains. Let's test that out and see what we got. There we go. That looks good. A little fast on that, but it's okay. 
It's supposed to be a twister style coaster. This is going to be brutal. It's way too fast to go into those. So let's take a look. This area I think is going to need to be reworked a bit. Yeah. Okay, so let's fix this up. just do something like that. I think that makes a whole lot more sense. Block breaks. Alright, let's take a look and see how that works now. So vertical G's stay, they're, they're pretty solid. Lateral G's, not too bad. Let's see what we get when we get back into the station here. There we go. And we're gonna call it the Orange Crusher. <laughs> All right, we got that. Let's go in and get the rest of this ride figured out here. So we have all of that. And I'm okay with giant lines because this is going to be a coaster that can support a giant line. It has two trains that have uh, a ton of capacity on them. The only thing I don't like is that we're right next to our entryway for all the food. So ride time is 48 seconds. We're going to wait for a full load. Maximum wait time is going to be 20 minimum. Let's go with 14. Finance wise, how did that help our park value? Oh, look at that. You can see where we built that coaster at. So let's speed this up. I didn't put an on-ride photo on this ride, did I? Nope, so that is a, a net loss for us no matter what we do. This ride here has made us money. This has to have made us enough money. Yeah, our total profit on that is not a lot, but there is profit. Our total profit on that is there. And then we have profit on that one too, awesome. And we have profit on this, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. So let's go to normal speed. We're going to advertise for a particular ride and orange crush. Boom. And then we can hopefully pay back some of this loan here. Is it 400 or 450? 400. Okay, we're at 350 right now, so we're not far off of achieving our goal. And while we're doing all this, let's see, people think it's crowded. Where is it crowded? Yeah. Well, obviously, we have two major coasters that are all right there, along with food. It's going to be a crowded area. I could rotate these to be over here, which might not be a terrible idea but I also kind of like everything being there. All right, and this thing should already be making us money. Yeah, it's not gonna make us a ton. It's also an expensive ride to operate, but it is a capacity monster. If we take a look at the capacity of this ride, it's, it's significant. All right, so I'm gonna put this back in normal speed and we have water rides that are available to us now that weren't before. 
we're gonna turn off that. We'll get those. What is our other thrill rides that we got? Oh, we got an Enterprise. Heck yeah. Love this ride. One of my favorite rides, both personally, I love, I just think it's a really fun ride overall. But in this game, it's also a great ride to have. All right, so that one can actually go over here, I think. So let's see where we want to do that at. So it'll be like that. We'll have our two station platforms there, and then this bad boy is just going to go up. Like so. We'll turn, go over to, and turn, and then it's just going to drop. to get that where we need it to be. There we go. So we're going to make a stupidly long line for this as well because the ride can support big lines. It has incredible capacity, so we'll make it to the point where it can do the things that we need it to do. Right, we got that. I need to replace that tree that I accidentally took out with the same style of tree. There we go. And then we can also advertise that here shortly. All right, boat one is doing its thing. I just want to see when it really slows down fully. Because we have boats to right about where my mouse is at if we don't have it slow down at all. So we need to make sure that we're okay with that and then we can move forward. Here we go. Hmm. It's moving at a good clip. That's okay. Alright, so it's a minute and 50 seconds. And then we have, what, eight of those? Divide that by eight. 13 seconds is our maximum, so... 13 seconds is our max. We'll do our min down at eight seconds, and then we can open that up. And hopefully... We'll get these rides out of here quickly. And I do kind of dig that it drops down into what looks like water and goes through. That's kind of neat. And we're up to a lot of guests in this park. Oh my goodness. All right, and how are we doing? There, we're doing just fine. All right, let's see, Enterprise is going to be a really choice ride for this park. And we can fit it in so easily, I love it. So we can get it in right there. Our entrance could be there, the exit could be over there. And the only thing we really need to do is knock that down. Put on a yellow path. Once we get twelve dollars, go. Okay, we can open that up. Wait for a full load. Maximum wait time, and there we go. And you can see like things like uh, the log flume, not nearly as popular as they used to be. They the queue is not full on that. Um, but if we take a look over here, we are loading this bad boy up real nice. And right now, we have 128 people on the ride. 
and we have 75 people in line. So we don't even have a full cycle worth of people on this. And the idea here with spacing these out is that even if there's one here, you can see that we will not crash the boats because when it shuts down, it shuts down the lift hill thing and we should be in much better shape. We got the park with the best general rides. We got lots of awards coming our way. I think we can raise this up to 50. I think we're a $50 park, no, all day long. And just to check here, 70. I'm just gonna click on a whole bunch of people here. 70, 100, heck yeah, dude. 70, 100, all right, cool. So we're doing just fine with all that. This line now is 132, but still, just one ride cycle. Let's see what general rides are we missing. We have that, which we could put in here if we wanted to. Yeah, let's do that. And then we can just take all of the people, it doesn't matter. I think 64 is the max that the game has now. Yeah. And we'll open that bad boy up. That was a missed opportunity on this coaster. Put in a, uh, a photo finish or something like that just to try to make it draw a little money. But look at this. Like, it's, it's, there's nobody on it anymore. Everybody went over to this guy. So when we look at excitement ratings, I think they're pretty comparable. Like, Great White's actually more exciting. It's not as intense, and it holds all that stuff. This is still maintaining quite the popularity as well. And this thing is just awesome. I love it. Full capacity, six minute line, no problem. All right, so what we're eventually gonna do here is gonna open up this pathway coming out. We'll build something in here, and hopefully that will get us to the point we need to be. We're just about there. So it's time to, well, let's do our advertising campaign. Do we wanna do it for the park? Let's do it for the park. Six weeks, that sounds reasonable. And then how much money do we have? Oh, we have cash to spend, all right. Let's go in and we're gonna make our last ride here, hopefully. It's gonna be an inverted coaster. So something like that is just fine. Go there, hold on. Now I'm not gonna make a coaster that's super big. This is gonna be a pretty compact coaster design, I think. So we'll go in there, put on, nope, not a large half loop, R. One there, put on a photo section on there, because of course we will. Then we'll do a half loop. Let me just make sure this all works real fast before we do anything else. Again, I'm not trying to make the world's most amazing coaster right now. We're just trying to hopefully have enough points or <laughs> enough points, 
uh, enough value here to lock out what we've done here. So. We do inline twist. Then break it up. There we go. I think that looks good. Do we have a yellow coaster already or no? We do not. So we'll put that there, we'll get rid of that. Build this line out the way that it should be. There we go. That one's doing its thing. We're just going to call this, I don't know, Yellow Fang. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. All right, so let's see. It's a minute and three seconds, so our maximum wait time is going to be like 27. Our minimum wait time is going to be like 24. Then we can open it, and we just need to provide the pathways to do so. So there's one pathway. There's the other one, and then we can go in here and connect two, three, two, three. There we go. Got the W as expected here, but did it with a little less time than I would like to have, but that's okay. We did it in the last year, and we took out loans to really accomplish a lot of that, but that's sometimes what you just gotta do. All right, and we have that all going like so. And what are people, they're excited, they wanna go in line for it. There we go, all right. So that is, our park as a whole. We uh, did a decent job. No, I don't have a path. Okay. That's not a big deal. Did a decent job. Uh, I would have liked to move a little faster, but I'm glad that we have some big capacity rides now to deal with our almost 3,000 guests uh, and that we can pay these down. So that's going to wrap us up here for today, folks. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you in our next Rollercoaster Tycoon video or other videos I make. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.